Um, so these couple of things that um, I have to share <clears throat> come to us from the, the late 80s. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's grab the first one. <clears throat> so I was sort of um, in 89... I was in between graphics. Gosh. In between graphics and working on a new shape. <coughs> so I called upon, <coughs> excuse me, um, I called upon my buddy Terrence. Terrence Yoshizawa. <coughs> Gosh. Um, Lester Kasai's cousin and also just a, a good friend <coughs> that um, skated a bunch with Sadlands Local and uh, Skate City Local. But, um, so Terrence was a, Terrence is an artist. <coughs> then I said, hey, why don't, you, why don't you draw something on my boards since I don't have any graphics yet. So he came up with this one first. Um, <clears throat> this one, because I obviously was going for the, uh, the anime, the Japanese animation style. So I said, well, come up with something and just draw whatever you want. And um, so this was the first one he came up with. And it is a, it says, House Custom by Terrence Yoshizo. I think he signed it somewhere. Maybe. Um, but anyway, this was a prototype shape. And I needed something on there. So he drew this for me. And it's really, really very cool. I mean, it definitely is in that the, the Japanese style. This one I rode, um, oh, there, Terrence signed it. There, that's where he signed it. Um, so I rode this one in Paris in 1989. There was a big demo that, uh, it was in the Bercy Arena, and um, they had BMXers and a ton of skaters, and they flew a bunch of us over to do this demo um, that was going to be televised live to... Oh, I forget how many countries, nine, 15. It was a bunch of, a bunch of countries were watching it live from the arena. And so they had, they had, um, of course, as many big names as you can think of, really. So Tony, Christian, uh, Kevin Staub, Joe Johnson, Danny Way, um, uh, Mark Gonzalez, uh, there was more. There's, there's many more, and I'm sorry if I forget who was there. <laughs> but there was lots of us, and they, they flew us all over there to do just, just to do this demo. And then they took us around the city, and we skated a bunch of spots uh, around the city, too. And they took us into the catacombs, too. And I remember being in the middle of the catacombs, and uh, Mark Gonzalez started to freak out. And he says, I got to get out of here. I gotta get out of here. He just like starts running for the exit. And if you don't know, anybody who may not know about the catacombs in, in Paris, the, the walls are lined with uh, skulls. So, yeah. Lots and lots of dead people in the catacombs in Paris. And it freaked out um, Mark Gonzalez and he had to get out of there. But, oh, yeah. And at the beginning of the trip, so we all fly out of LAX. And um, so I get to the airport and I get to the international section and I'm looking around, I don't see anybody, and I'm thinking, am I there the right day? I don't know what's going on. And then I see this skinny guy, this kid, over there with a bunch of gear. And I looked at him, I go, well, that guy must be part of the group. So I walk over to him, I go, well, you must be part of the group going to Paris. And he said, yeah, I am. I'm a photographer, BMX photographer. I go, oh, great. I said, my name's Adrian. And he says, my name's Spike. So uh, Spike Jones was the first person I met um, going to that demo in Paris at the airport. And then, of course, within an hour, everybody was there. And then it was all mayhem. And we took over the airport, took over the plane. And uh, it was a really good week or so, I think, we were over there. But anyway, so I rode this board in that. And I think you can see, well, you might not be able to see it. But there's some video of the, the demo. It's called the Mega Free uh, and, uh, at Bercy. And so that's on the YouTube. Somebody put it up there. And you can see me riding this board doing, what else? A judo air. Because <laughs> that's what I do. All right, so there's one. I'm going to go to the other one now. <clears throat> so 
So again, that was that was Terrence's kind of first outing making the graphic for me, and I was actually going to have him do the graphics for me, but um, but it didn't work out for him to do the graphics, and for whatever reason, anyway. So the second one he did for me um, was this one, which I really liked too, and uh, um, you can see he, I think it's like trunk paint. I think that's what that is. Um, but uh, yeah, I really like the way this one came out. This was also 89. Yes, Adrian Custom 002, signed by Terrence. And, uh, but yeah, really nice work. And just, you know, I think just paint pen on, on my board. But um, this one I rode um, at the, uh, the, the famous mini ramp contest in Hawaii where Gons does the ollie over that giant gap. So I rode this one, and um, <clears throat> funny thing is, is that uh, I got a picture somehow, but I was riding this board, and it had green trucks that I had taken off a, a tracker color sample board that they had. It had a bunch of different colors, and so I grabbed, a, I grabbed a set of green trucks and I grabbed a set of black trucks. So I'm riding the green trucks, and uh, apparently, as soon as, I, as soon as I was seen riding this board with those trucks, uh, tracker got a bunch of calls for this board and the green trucks. So they said, you can't do that anymore. You got to ride production stuff. So anyway, so that's this one. And, uh, yeah, I was supposed to be mini ramp champ, but, um, I didn't make it. They didn't make the finals. So, but, oh, well, it happens. <laughs> so anyway, that's, that's my, that's my skate stuff. Really. There's not really anything else, there, but I wanted to share Terrence's artwork because he he really I really like his his work and he's a good friend. So there uh, And there's some documentation of these boards somewhere out there 